what does Juneteenth mean to Fred Hammond? You know, we, uh, it's become sort of maybe a bit broader understood in society, yeah. perhaps as a consequence of the George Floyd matter, but we're here in Texas. It happened in Texas. Yeah. Uh, you know, we're from a generation that, that, that recognized Juneteenth. What does Juneteenth uh, sort of mean to you? Uh, I think it means the same to me as it means to everybody else, all black people, that this was the day we heard we were free. We didn't know it, but we heard it. Somebody, it took two years, but it didn't take 10 years. <laughs> so it got here when it got here. Yeah. You know, uh, I'm sure if uh, they had social media back there, it'd be there across <laughs> it in, in a right, second. Right. But that was their social media. Their yeah. social media was a Union Army traveling from city to city to say, you know, somebody had their mind to say, hey, listen, we got to get this word out across the country. Get the news out, yeah. You know, we mm -hmm. got to get it across the country. So send people to tell people you're free. Now go down here and tell them you're free. And right. go on here and tell them you're free. And slave owners as well were getting the news for the first time, a lot of time. Like, what do you mean? You know, so it was just that day that we can celebrate and say, you know what, this is the day we got the information. Yeah. You know, and still even with the information, it didn't necessarily change right away. Right. And we saw that. But at the end of the day, it was the day of information. Yeah. Uh, gospel music is, is the, the genre you chose and, mm -hmm. and is where you are. And I think about gospel music, it's, it's sort of different than other sectors. Uh, it's transcendent. I mean, there are songs, uh, we're in the same age group that as a child, you know, Precious Lord and, and others that, that are continue to be as relevant today as they mm -hmm. were all those many years ago. What is it about gospel music you think that sort of connects uh, in a level that allows the music to pass down through the years? Faith connects. Mm. Faith is, is, is not going to die. And it's, gospel music is a song of faith. You know, it's, it's, it's the spiritual, you know, we could say, well, it's anointed and all that stuff. That, them, those them words don't mean nothing to people. You know, to a lot of people, they just, they'll be hearing something, next thing they'll know, they'll, they'll, something will come on and they'll just connect to it. And they may have never went to church or want to hear about church, but it's faith, the faith that there is a God and that we should, you know, we'll want to reach out to him. We're, we're, we're going to serve something. One thing you can count on, the human, every human being, and there are people that don't even believe in God, people that have no thought about who God is or curse God, they're going to serve something. Mm -hmm. We're created to serve. And if you look at their life, they're going to serve uh, their job. They're going to serve another sounding of music. You, that's why you go to another, if you, if you turn the TV off, down and go to like a hip hop concert or a rock concert, back in the day, rock was big with us. Remember yeah. Kiss and ACDC, yeah. Pink Floyd and all yeah. of them. Yeah. If you turn the music down on a church service that's really going on fire and turn the music down on a rock and roll or a hip hop concert yeah. and just place the hip hop show on the church side and you take the church music on the hip hop side, it looks like it fits. Wow. You know why? Heavy. Because that. at the end of the day, we're created to worship. So we're going to worship something. Mm. Mm. So you have to choose what you're going to worship, what you're going to do. So people that are into, like, go to NFL Sunday. Those people don't have nothing to do with us. They're running a ball and they're making millions. When they win, we say we win. Our attitude changes about life. Hmm? And that's worship. That is something connecting to something that's greater to say, mm. you let me down. Mm -hmm. So we're spiritual. So gospel music has that thing. It's spiritual. It's, I don't know what that is, but something about that is pulling me through. My mother died. You know, I just lost a child. I, you know, we just saw uh, injustice happening. And now we see and we hear a song and we give us faith and it activates us. So it's worship. We're just created to worship. We're going to worship something. You wow. just have to ask the question, what are you going to worship? Thank you.